Well, organizers told me they counted over 100 people who showed up here tonight and voiced their concerns about this new bill. They say the lessons that are going to be required with the passing of it just aren't age appropriate for the students learning. And that that just might potentially be bad. Anise Barker was the leading voice in a meeting that spoke out against Senate Bill 5395. She says as a mother, she traveled to Olympia for the bill's hearing and she's simply not comfortable with the curriculum that'll be taught. So what she's done now is put together a slideshow of things that may be taught and is encouraging parents to question what their students will learn. The more I talk to people who are in my friend's circle and in my community, most of them didn't know what this bill was. Most schools in Washington have some form of sexual education, but the new bill would make it a requirement for all public schools in the state to go over material in each grade. We get an STD lesson in seventh grade. We get to talk about the risks of different sexual behaviors. The new bill does allow parents to withhold their student from taking any of the courses. They could opt their children out at the beginning of each year. Thinking about our things about how to recognize and how to resist abusive and coercive behavior. From Mead, Brandon Jones, Crew.